All right, so there was a bunch of talk on several of the fishing forums about uh, mounting a GPS on, uh, on, on the new Ranger. This is a Z520. Uh, so I looked for several different things. The problem is this has got a slope on it, and I wanted a unit that set up square when I was running my boat. So because of the slope, I was looking at several different things to mount here that you're going to have to put little, uh, little wedges in to square it up. And I couldn't find anything that really fit in here. And one of the things I didn't want to have was, which is what I had before, uh, the old big um, uh, ram ball mounts. Because I don't care, I, I was using the biggest one they make. And in rough water, they still bounce around. And I did not like that at all. So I went looking, and I'm going to give you two options today of what I found. So this one is what's called a balls out. And that's B-A-L-Z-O-U-T. I found them online. So what you got is you've got just a base mount right there, and these are on little pins. I know you can't really see it, but it mounts on pins so that when you get at an angle, so there's three little pins on the bottom here, and it just sits down on there. You put a, it's got a spring, and then it's got a washer, and then it's just got this little thing you screw on top of it. You screw it all the way down, and you can see it sets in that little spot really well. And it will chew your hands up. But once you get it in there, now this is just, so this is just a, a, a hex or whatever you call it, screwdriver. You crank it down on there, and it will not move. And let me show you the setup now. From the driver's seat it's really really square right so that's option one let's go over here and we'll do option two so by the way i did a lot of research online um, looking for a mount to do this with and i love our sport because i saw two pictures uh, anthony gagliardi and uh, keith combs who both had a mount on their rangers that i didn't know what they were i can assure you if you call derek jeter derek jeter's not going to call you back I called, I got through friends, I got both their numbers, and both of them called me back, and both of them said, okay, well, here's what I'm using, or here's what I was using. Ranger developed this mount, and my understanding is they prototyped it for a couple of years, um, and then once they figured out, once they got it to the way they liked it, they've now had Ram mount make these. This is a very inexpensive mount. I think I only paid 60 or maybe $70 for it. And what it does is, it is a similar setup, it's got the little pins inside, and it's got a very narrow flat mount. You mount that right there. You get the pins where you want them, so you tilt it where you want it. You screw it up, and the same thing. It'll set your GPS right there. Um, I'm not sure that I'll keep the balls mount or whether I'll switch back to this one. I'll probably keep the balls, the balls out mount. But um, I think this is a really good setup as well. And as you can tell, that's going to be extremely stable. So that's the two options I found uh, for mounting a third or a second GPS unit at the console on a Ranger Z520, Z521. Most of them have this same setup. So I hope that's helpful. Uh, again, visit us for uh, more, tip, more tips and map tips and fun stuff at kensmithfishing.com. Thanks.